Hey, Brian, what's up, A1? What's going on? How y'all doing? Happy Sunday to you. Hey, Jalen, what's up, Kimberly? What's going on, Amory? What's up, Brittany? Hey, Tanisha. Hey, Zara. What's up, Maura? Hey, Nikayla. What's going on, y'all? How y'all doing? Hey, Malia. Hey, Lanisha. What's up, Duanya? What's up, Shantavia? What's going on? How you doing? Hey, Cecilia. What's up, Sabrina? What's going on? How y'all doing? Happy Sunday to y'all. Hey, Janae. Hey, Stephanie. What's up, Yvette? Hey, Ginger. Hey, Sonovia. Hey, Courtney. Hey, Ale hey Alexis. I'm happy. The day is going good so far. How y'all doing? Hey, Lamisha. Lisa. Hey, Enjoyable. What's up, Pam? What's going on? Hey, Jasmine. Hey, Maria. Hey, Vicky. What's up, Alonda? Hey, Stacy. You was just thinking about the live? Oh, the last live? Or thinking about me going live today? I'm about to cook something real quick, y'all. Hey, Christina, what's going on? How you doing? You got your seasonings? They're bomb. You enjoying them? We about to make a sweet potato hash. If anybody saw my stories yesterday, I got quite a few messages about it. So I'm going to go ahead and make it for you guys and make it with you guys. Let's have it again. So um, if you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen it. I got a lot of messages about it. What's up, Josh? How you doing? Hey, Vanessa. Hey, Linda. I'm ordering my season today. Super excited. Happy just watching Martin lounging. I just got finished with the long nail video. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Um, if anybody wants seasoning, I'll put the uh, thing here. Um, I will tell you that the jalapeno garlic pepper is going really fast. I'm probably I probably have less than 50 bottles left. So if that's the one that you want, you'll probably want to go ahead and get it now. Um, I'll probably be sold out really soon. And if you guys know what happened last time, it took me three months to get restocked, y'all, because everything that could go wrong did go wrong. Um, thank you. What's up, A. Wu? What's going on? How you doing? Hey, Crystal. What's up, Tommy? Hey, D. Renee. What's going on? How you doing? What's up, Tab? You just finished making brunch. What you have for brunch? I'm craving the cauliflower wings. I definitely experiment this week. You should make it. It's so good. And I also realized I need to make some fried, uh, fried broccoli. Fried broccoli is really good, too. So let me go ahead and uh, I need some music or something though. Hold on, y'all. Man, this music is whack. All right, uh, all right. So let's go ahead and make some. Okay, let me. This is what we're making real quick. Let me show you guys what we're making right now. This is gonna be so easy. We are making sweet potato hash. This is what we're making, y'all. If you guys saw this on Instagram, this is what I'm making today. This is very, very quick. Very quick. And, of course, with your hash, you can do anything you want. If you want an egg on the side, you want sausage, bacon, fruit. I'm just having fruit on the side, but this is what I'm making. What's up, Breezy? Breezy. Hey, Beth. What's going on with you? French toast, turkey, bacon, hash brown, eggs with a mimosa. All right. So this is my ingredients, y'all. Let me show you super quick. Hey, Bernadette, what's going on? How you doing? These are my ingredients right here. Look how easy that is, you guys. So sweet potatoes. I got some red bell pepper, some mushrooms, some spinach. I got some red onions. That's it. That is it. Hey, Jennifer, what's going on? Hey, hey, cousin. Man, did you see that, cousin? I'm about to make this right now. So easy to make, too. So if anybody missed it, this is what we make in sweet potato hash. I love this. So good. This is so filling, you guys. When I had this yesterday, this is all I had. It was that good. This is all I made was just this. All right. So, y'all, this is easy. Easy, easy, easy. I'm about to start off with my vegetables, though, and let them saute down. And then I'm going to cut. My sweet potatoes are already cut, but I need to dice them. And what's important about with your sweet potatoes is making sure that you cut them, make them the same size so they can cook evenly. All right. So, I got a skillet here. This just has olive oil in it. Skillet with some olive oil. And in this pan, I'm going to add my mushrooms. Put my mushrooms, my bell pepper, and my red onion. I'm not going to add the spinach yet because, you know, spinach cooks down really, really fast. I'm going to add my red onions. That's it. 
All right, so this is all I have in the skillet so far, you guys. Mushroom, bell pepper, red onion. I'm gonna put this over medium heat. And I'm not gonna add any seasoning to, I didn't need to add any seasoning yesterday when I made it. It was perfect the way that it was. What's up, Tanya? What's going on? How you doing? I have most of those ingredients. I don't know what to do with these sweet potatoes. Yes, what's up, Bobby? What's going on? How you doing? Good to see you. Hey, what's up, Shaya? What's up, Victoria? You guys, we are making some sweet potato hash. This is about to be so easy, y'all. So I'm about to go ahead and dice up the sweet potatoes. The, the most important thing to me about a hash and with potatoes is making sure that your potatoes are the same size. So that it, for me, I like to cook mine down pretty, I cook mine down pretty, uh, I cut mine kind of small. And let me show you real quick. I dice mine in small cubes like this. They cook a lot faster when they're this size. So you guys see that how small that is? So I dice mine down pretty small. What's up, Leo Chick? What's going on? How you doing? What's up, Morel? What's going on? How you doing? All right, so that's what I'm doing. So I am cutting these down. And I was going to cut them before I went live, but I wanted y'all to see that, like, you know, got to cut them down. I don't know if I can see me cutting um yeah y'all so and i'm keeping mine simple i'm not really putting nothing on the side honestly i'm doing a yellow mango and some cuties that's all i'm doing for mine on the side but like i said add whatever you want to the side of yours you know what i'm saying add whatever you want to your sides if you want to do meat you want to do fruit you want to have some type of salad if i wanted a salad i probably would make it just like a little greek salad real quick but I don't want any meat though. I'm not in the mood for, for meat today. Well, right now I'm not in the mood for any meat. So I'm just gonna let my vegetables saute down. I like my mushrooms to cook down nice. I like my um, onions to be caramelized as well. What's up, Tokyo? I just ordered two jalapeno garlic pepper. Thank you, Shantae. Anybody that's placing orders today, I will ship out your orders tomorrow. As I mentioned just a second ago, y'all are going wild with the jalapeno garlic pepper. I'm probably down to maybe 40-something bottles now. Um, so if that's something that you want or you want to restock or you want to try it for the first time, you're probably going to go ahead and do it now because I will be selling out pretty soon. Hey, Jennifer, what's going on? How you doing? I'm loving your lives, girl, and you're cooking, just waiting for shipping to Canada. I don't know if I'm going to ship outside of the U.S. I don't know. I tried it a couple of times, and honestly, it was a disaster. So I don't think I'm going to be shipping outside of the United States. And uh, I'm going to tell you because, you know, it sucked that the person didn't get their product. The shipping was really, really expensive. When I shipped something to, what was it, Canada? It was 20 bucks. It was 20 bucks to ship to Canada. You know what I'm saying? And that's a that's a pretty high cost for shipping. So, but even besides that, the person never got their package, you know. So, and I tried to ship a couple other places, and it just didn't work out. So, I'm sorry for y'all that are outside of the U.S. It's just tough, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to lose product like that, and I also don't want someone not to get their seasoning. So, it's just gonna be easy for me to just keep it in the U.S. It's a lot easier for me to track, and it's a lot cheaper too, honestly. What's up, Swag? Like, what's going on, bro? How you doing? Good to see you. All right, so got my sweet potatoes. Oh, I need to get some. Let me see what I'm getting. I need. Do y'all love? This is my love dish right here, you guys. Herb de Provence. I have a big old sample of it. I was actually trying to do something with the seasoning that included some Herb de Provence in it. Um, that's why I got that big old sample of it. Um, hey, Laquita, what's going on? How you doing? Good to see you. Happy Sunday, y'all. Please be sure to get a lot of thumbs up, y'all. If anybody just came in, we are making sweet potato hash. All I'm doing right now is sauteing some of my vegetables off to the side. I have some mushrooms, some red onion. Red bell pepper. And I'm just cutting down my sweet potatoes into some cubes. 
trying to get them the same size because this will just make they'll cook really fast like this. And also, it just looks good on a plate once they're cooked. Once I plate it, it'll look good because it'll, it'll all be the same size. What's up, Paula? What's going on? Hey, Jacqueline. What's up, Toxic Greens? What's going on? How you doing? Welcome to the live. Happy Sunday, y'all. Hey, Denise. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? Happy Sunday. What y'all doing today? I'm going over to my friend Courtney's house. We might go swimming. I'm going to see my friends, but I'm also going to see their son. So, friends, if y'all are here, I love y'all, but I want to see y'all kid. <laughs> I want to see the kid out, but I want to see y'all too. All right, so I got my sweet potatoes all cut up, y'all. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my heat. Olive oil in the skillet. You just made seafood, you're going to relax. Healthy eating is always good and I love that kitchen. Thank you, Yvette. Hey, Lori, what's going on? I love the seasoning, so I need some. Yummy veggies are a plus. What is going on? How y'all doing? I'm feeling guilty. I'm going out for pizza. That's cool, nothing wrong with that. What's up, Sharima? Hey, Nicole. What's in the skillet? Oh, my, let me show you guys what's in the skillet. My bad. Let me show you what's over there. So all I have in the skillet so far, you guys, is all this is is mushrooms, red onions, and I have some red bell pepper. I haven't added any seasoning. I'm actually not going to season the vegetables at all. It was perfect with the um, sweet potatoes only being, you know, that's the only thing I'm going to season are the sweet potatoes. So that's all this is, is vegetables just sauteing down. And I'm just cooking these off to the side. But I'm going to combine everything in the same skillet. And this is just really quick and easy and it's healthy. Um, I, I try to use sweet potatoes as much as I can over a regular potato because it offers more nutrients and it's healthier for me. Um, what's up, Nisha? What's going on? Happy Sunday to you. What's up? Hey, Donna. What's going on? How you doing? What's up, sis? What's going on, Chanel? How you doing? Good to see you guys. Okay, so I'm about to go ahead and add my sweet potatoes to the skillet. All right, so all right, y'all. So sweet potatoes in, and as you can see, I really try to dice them. I try to dice them as even as I can. Try to make them as small as I can as well. This helps them cook evenly, and they'll cook at the same pace. Cause you don't want to have, you know, some potatoes done, some not done. You know, what's up, show lady C. Hey, Shantara, what's going on? Or Shatara, I'm sorry. How you doing? Good to see you. What's up, Queen Chelsea? Why did I just try to smell my phone, Rhonda? Hey, Rhonda just came in to say hi. I ordered some food at the drive through Okay, get your food on. I'm glad that you came through and said hello. How you doing? Um, let's see. Also, y'all, y'all know I'm always doing something. I'm always doing something, something always going on. Um, if you guys go on the community tab, y'all, I wrote my first play. I know you guys have heard me talk about it, but now it's time for the plays to be performed. We went through rehearsals yesterday, y'all, and it was so dope seeing my play performed by actors. So if you guys want to come through, it's going to be a night of new playwrights, me and four other, five other people and their plays. It is free. It's on Friday at 7 p.m. So I'm likely not having family night next Friday. But if you guys are interested in that, you want to come to a free thing, you want to hang out with your, by yourself, with your friends, with your kids, your family, or your partner, whatever. Um, yeah, you can register for free. So come check me out. So yeah, we're doing a play. It's my first play, y'all. I'm so excited. All right, so let me lift you guys up over here to make this a lot easier. What's up, Kia? What's going on? How you doing? All right, can you guys see that? Yeah, y'all can see that. All right, so now we're about to go ahead and season the sweet potatoes. All right. Hey, Carly, what's going on? How you doing? All 
right, y'all. So y'all see my sweet potatoes. I got my vegetables off to the side cooking. I turned the heat down a little bit. Oh no. Let me turn it back up. Okay. All right, cool. All right, so for my sweet potatoes, this is what I'm about to cook you. I mean, add into it to season it, you guys. So um, I'm going to add in some Spike Original Seasoning. What's up, Christy? What's going on? How you doing? So I'm going to add in some Spike. I love this seasoning. Tasha was the first person that I, I have never seen this seasoning before in my life until I was over uh, Steph and Tasha's house on weekend. I tried this and it was really good. Oh, Steph and Tasha, I stole y'all paprika on accident. I'm so sorry. Y'all, we had so many seasonings in India. And I picked up their paprika on accident, so I jacked y'all. My bad. Uh, so I'm going to add some smoked paprika. I love smoked paprika. It's better than the regular paprika to me. It just has like that, you know? Like, yeah, the extra smokiness is really good. It goes a long way. Um, <laughs> my bad. I didn't mean to steal y'all uh, paprika. It was an accident. Y'all, I'm adding some onion powder as well. Onion powder. I'm going to add some chili powder. And you want to make sure that you, you know, add everything to your liking or use whatever kind of seasons that you like. And of course, I'm adding in the jalapeno garlic pepper. That is the final touch. And y'all see I'm being generous because it is low sodium. So, all right. So, oh, and let me add in my herbs. This is all, this is really my, my, my. The secret thing to kind of bring it all together. Some herbs, David Monts. So we add in some herbs. All right, so that's nice and seasoned. I'll show you guys that in just a second. Let me just stir it around real quick. Let me add a little bit more olive oil to my pan. A little more olive oil. All right, boom. So all this has to do now, I just want to mix around the seasonings. So I'm just going to let this sit for a second and let it cook through, but I'm going to show you guys what it's looking like. I'm about to add my spinach to my pan too. Um, so just a little closer. In fact, I don't know if you guys can see that really good or not, but that's what that looks like is, I mean, it's simple, but it is seasoned well. That's why I didn't add any seasonings to my vegetables because I don't want it to be too salty, you know? I mean, this is not a lot of salt anyway, but I'm just saying, like, it doesn't, it just didn't need it. So I add the spinach and I'm adding the spinach to some sauteed mushrooms, red onion, and red bell pepper. Let that cook down. Hey, Courtney. Oh, I, I saw you earlier, Courtney. Making a banana pudding cake. That sounds good. I love you. I love you too, Zara. So if you wanted to do something like this, one time I've also used, made like a, like a hash, but then I took like my cupcake, the little cupcake pan, you know, sprayed it down, added in some egg, and then add this mixture on top of it, put it in the oven and you get like little breakfast muffins. So that's even an idea if you want something that's like quick and easy on the go, you know, so that you can just pop it in the microwave real quick whenever you get to work or your destination. That's another way you can also kind of like flip this. <laughs> Let's just say you make it be so hungry. You getting hungry? You said you getting hungry? Y'all better come on, y'all grab y'all food. Let's eat. And this is quick. This is super quick. What's up, Tasha? Good to see you. I mean, this is good for breakfast. You can have it for, I mean, you can really eat this any time of day. That's why I like it. It's easy. Let's see. I probably been, it's probably been cooking for, I went live at like, what, 12.32? And I'm almost done. What's up, Jaylene? What's going on? How you doing? Happy Sunday to you. Mm. 
I probably added in, honestly, Tanya, that was probably like a handful of spinach. That was about a handful of spinach. I'm going to say I did about half of a half of a red bell pepper, about three slithers of red onion, about half a pack of mushrooms, the small pack of mushrooms, about half a pack of mushrooms. Um, and then about uh, just like a handful of spinach. And you can, you know, spinach cooks down so much. So it was like a generous hand of, uh, of spinach. What's up, Prissy? What's going on? How you doing? Happy Sunday to you. Let me taste this real quick. See how these are doing. It's pretty much done. Mmm. Y'all, them flavors. Mm -mm -mm. So let me show y'all again what I seasoned the sweet potatoes with. I seasoned it with some good as can be jalapeno garlic pepper. I added some chili powder. I added some onion powder. I added some smoked paprika. And I added in some spike original seasoning. That's how I seasoned the sweet potatoes. And they pretty much are done. Let me turn these vegetables off. The veggies are good. So all I'm about to do right now, y'all, is add in the veggies into my skillet. Mix this all together. So you can make this hash in like 20 minutes. If that, it might not even take that long, honestly. All right, I'm about to give you guys a close up on what this is looking like. And then I'll plate everything so you guys can also see what it looks like too. And I'm just having fruit on the side with this. But again, you know, add, you can have you like a fried egg. If you want to add a fried egg, cook bacon, sausage. Any kind of fruit, you can have it with a salad. So that's it, you guys. That's it. That's a close up on it. That's a sweet potato hash. So all this in the sweet potatoes, red bell pepper, spinach, red onions, and mushrooms. So let me plate this real quick. Let me plate my food real quick. This is, I love how easy this is, so easy. And again, this just goes back to making sure that your sweet potatoes are cut up. That's why I make mine, like look, y'all just put it in the skillet and it's already cooked, you know what I'm saying? Potatoes can take some time to cook down and cook through. You know, you want them tender, I like mine tender. Some of y'all may like them a little bit different, but I like mine tender. And um, when you cook them, when you cut them down and dice them like that, it really gives them a chance to um, to cook quickly, you know? All right, so this is all, and all I'm having on the side are some cuties and some um, a yellow mango on the side. Just having something light, and this is a good way to start my day. I mean, cause ain't no telling what I'm gonna be eating later, but <laughs> at least I started off good. All right, y'all. So this is my plate. This is what my plate of food looks like. This is my brunch. So we got the sweet potato hash. Can y'all see? Y'all, this is this is bomb. I don't care what nobody say. This right here is bomb. Hey, Destiny, what's going on? How you doing? Hey, Tony. Hey, Mark. said, bring you a sample. I'll bring you some. So we got the hash. Got the mangoes. Got the cuties. That's it. You got a quick and simple... This is simple. Y'all, we haven't even been on live for 30 minutes yet. We've been on live for 24 minutes and we already have our we already have our brunch ready to go. Boom. Quick. Easy, 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 easy. I'm sorry somebody lost somebody. I'm sorry for your loss. I missed whatever whatever was said. I'm sorry about that. And I send my my love and my condolences to you and your family. So that's it. And like, honestly, I don't even put nothing on it. Like, I mean, like, I don't, I don't know if you guys put ketchup on your sweet potatoes or not, but I don't have to put anything on it. Just eat it like that. That's it. Y'all, that house phone. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Look at that. That ain't nothing. This is nothing. 
So if anybody missed this, sweet potato hash, quick and easy, mango, cuties. And this is a great way to start the day. So I'm not having any meat. Everything has nutrition. Um... Oh. <sighs> right. So let's taste this, y'all. <laughs> real phone. For real. So look, y'all. I'll take my first bite. Let me pray. Excuse me, God. Amen. All right, first bite. Let me give y'all the first bite. First bite goes to y'all. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Mm hmm Yep. Y'all is good. I eat this every day. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all, we got 102 people in here. If you could take a moment just to get a live a thumbs up, I appreciate you. But it's okay, Tony. This live is so short. I made this in 24 minutes. just a good balance of flavor you know like even i feel like it's even important to choose the right bell pepper because to me the bell peppers all taste the same i mean they taste different so like to me a, a green bell pepper wouldn't go good in here it's like i need the sweetness from the red bell pepper you know to balance out the flavors oh this is a yellow mango have y'all ever had yellow mango before it was good i don't like the um green mango What y'all got going on today? Mar, you still in here? Mm -hmm. This is what I call a sweet potato hash. What's up, Keisha? What's going on? How you doing? So I got some yellow mango. Mm. Got my water. You making dinner too? What's up, truly yours? How you doing? Happy Sunday to you. Mario, right, I was telling them earlier that I'm coming to see y'all today. I'm like, yeah, I do want to see y'all. I want to see y'all, but y'all know I want to see y'all kid. <laughs> but I want to see all of y'all. I was just joking. I'm doing pretty good. I'm hanging in there. I'm so hungover. I'm trying to chug water so I can go to the store tomorrow. I have a doctor's appointment for my high blood pressure. You hungover? I heard pickle juice helps. If you got some pickle juice, you should try that. And these cuties are so sweet. I mean, juicy. The last cuties we bought were dry. I was, it was weird. Found my dress for the funeral. We doing it enjoying family at this sad time. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Mm. Best healthy brunch I've seen on YouTube. Well, thank you, love blue. Just something quick, you know, just give me all the idea. Like if you got some sweet potatoes laying around and some ingredients, just make a hash. You just, you know what I'm saying? Like that's a good way to like use your leftovers. Or if you have some produce that's about to go bad, you could put zucchini in here, corn. You could put anything in a hash, in my opinion. I think that's what's really important is to make it your own, you know, whatever you like, like add it, you know. Hmm. That sounds good, Carly. Oh, 
Are you gonna make some food now? It's gonna hold you over until dinner. And see, I love me a good simple meal. Like this is super simple. It's very easy. Cause you could even pair this with like chicken on the side. I mean, just cause it's a hash don't mean it gotta be for breakfast. You got it for salmon. You can have with anything. Mm -mm -mm. Could I add sweet corn if I want? Yeah. Add whatever kind of vegetables you like. I say go crazy. Brussels sprouts, anything. Add whatever you want. That's the one thing about like eating healthy is that I'm glad that I already love vegetables. Like I love vegetables. Like I don't have to convince myself to eat them. I know that could be a very hard part for some people when, when you're trying to eat healthy is that you don't like vegetables or whatever. You don't really care for them or how they're prepared. And that's a good thing too is I think that if, if it's some vegetables you don't like, I think it's just really important to like try preparing them different ways. Um, because I didn't like Brussels sprouts at first. Like I was really hesitant about eating them. But the first couple of times they were made, I didn't like them. But then when I finally figured out how to make them in the way that I liked them, then I loved them. You know what I'm saying? So it's some stuff we think we don't like. Um, mm -hmm, I love salad. Hey, Tanya. Hey, Tommy. Hey, Emmanuel. Hey, Joy. It's Miss Joy. I'm new to your channel. What's up, Miss Joy? How you doing? Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the live. Welcome to the GP fam. Good to see you. I just hopped on and made a hash. If anybody missed it, I made a Sweet potato hash. Oh, yeah, I love roasted broccoli. I love me some roasted broccoli with um some lemon juice and some Parmesan cheese. Wow. Hey, Marilyn, what's going on? Happy Sunday to you. Mmm. Oh, I cooked this, Emmanuel. I made this real quick. Y'all can see I got a happy plate. That was wild. Hey, Peggy. Peggy Sue said I'm new too. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the live. Welcome to the GP fam as well. Happy to have you here. I like to make that and have it several meals throughout the week. Oh, yeah, for sure. That's the thing. Make a big, you can make a big thing of it. So it, it can be your side, like for dinner all week. I think it's a good meal prep option. So if you want to have it for breakfast, and as I mentioned earlier too, if you make the hash, if you wanted to add like more protein to it, if you want like some little breakfast muffins, get your little muffin, get you a muffin pan, put your eggs inside of it, add in the hash inside of it. You want to put some cheese in there, you can too. Throw it in the oven and you got your breakfast muffin that you can just grab and go, which is super easy. So yes, yeah, I mean, you can make this a couple different ways. I've only been on a few minutes where the sweet potatoes air fried. Um, no, they were sauteed. So I just sauteed them in a, in a pan. So I sauteed the mushrooms, uh, the red onions, red bell peppers, and spinach in a separate skillet. No seasoning added. And then I diced up the uh, sweet potatoes. And you want to dice them kind of small so they cook evenly and they look nice, you know, on the plate. Um, well, I cook. I like mine small. I I'll say that. And I sauteed them alone. And for those, what did I do? Oh, I just seasoned them with some smoked paprika, some onion powder, some chili powder, um, some, why well, I can't think of the name of that seasoning? Spike Original and the jalapeno garlic pepper from my line as well. How many days would it keep in the fridge? Um, I would say that it would honestly last for about, I would say about six or seven days. I would say six or seven days as long as it's refrigerated um, and just smell it. But I've had this in the refrigerator for about four or five days and it held up just fine. I was able to just pop it in the microwave real quick and that's it. So it was super, super duper easy. And like, I love how I feel right now. I'm not full. My stomach, I don't feel bloated. I don't feel any of that. Because see, my body responds immediately when I eat certain things, especially a lot, like a lot of carbs. And not, I'm not saying a sweet potato is not a carb. I think it's a good carb, a good complex carb. Um, so yeah. 
Good early evening to you. Happy Sunday. What's up? Ain't no telling them it's purple. Good to see you. How you been? I've been seeing your comments. You've been going back watching some of the old videos. <laughs> How you doing? Good to see you. Happy Sunday to you. Hey, Lee. Thank you, Lee. That was my, the food was good. It was delicious. If you eat corn, try roasted corn with favorite seasoning with the hash, cheese, no meat, saute is the way. Oh, that's a good suggestion, Ebony. I got some corn outside, too. I'm here for the brunch. I like breakfast, brunch, lunch, dinner, and snacks. Man, I just finished cooking, too. Just me. What's going on? Happy Sunday. Mm -hmm. I love a kale salad. I love a good kale uh, Caesar salad. Y'all, that dark lacento or like Italian kale, chop that up. I like to add some Parmesan cheese, a couple of like grape tomatoes in it. And I use uh, Brianna's um, uh, Caesar dressing. Bomb. Hey, Janine. What's up? How you doing? Hey, Sharice. Normal potatoes are good carbs, too. Just like sweet potatoes. Um, I don't, but they make my stomach hurt, though. I don't like, I mean, not that I don't, I love a regular potato. It's just that it don't work well with my body all the time. It makes me feel really bloated. Um, and for me, I get more nutrients. It, my, my body responds better to sweet potatoes. Mm, uh, great to catch you live. Your videos are food for my soul. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. What's up, Rosebud? How you doing? Good to see you. Brianna's dressings are bomb, right? They're so good. Mm -mm. Uh, I love roasted kale. That sounds good. Could you do an artichoke, my bang? Oh, I don't know about that, Emily. I don't like I don't like a uh, artichoke, so probably not. I'm not a big fan of artichoke at all. Hey, 247, what's up? What's going on? How you doing? Happy Sunday to you. I got to get ready to get off live in a minute, y'all, because I got to go get dressed. I'm going to hang out with my friends. I ordered your seasoning. Can't wait to try. Thank you so much, you guys. I appreciate you guys for ordering. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'm glad that a lot of y'all are enjoying. I see a lot of y'all have come back several times. So thank you so much for the continued support with everything. Um... Okay. Oh, quite a few orders came in. I'll make sure to get all your orders out tomorrow. You guys will get the orders tomorrow. Oh, y'all are going crazy. Look, I'm I'm gonna tell I'm not even joking, you guys. I'm seriously, I'm down to like 44 bottles of the jalapeno garlic pepper. Y'all went crazy, 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 crazy. I got 44 bottles. What's up, Lex? What's your favorite thing to make in the air fryer? You know what's so crazy, Lex, is that I don't even use my air fryer as much as I would like to. I forget about it. And I really don't feel confident with the air fryer, honestly. But so far. I've made some really good Brussels sprouts in there and I've made some really good um, garlic Parmesan fries in the air fryer. I've made some good wings too. I've made some good wings, but I don't use it as much as I should. But it's this woman that I follow. I think her, her name is called Queen of AK. She is the queen of the air fryer. She bakes in there. She does all kinds of stuff in the air fryer. So I got to build my skills up in the air fryer. I'm not there yet, honestly, but we got a nice air fryer. Just I just be forgetting to use it. Um, hey, Rhonda, have fun last night this morning. Right? That was a good time, right? Rashida, I had a good time too. Veggies rock. I cook meat for my family, myself too. But if they do not, um, they're fat. Oh, it's a whole lot of veggies. Yep. You so happy you got yours. Thank you, Ashley. I appreciate you. How about make some pizza dough chips with your seasonings? Oh, that sounds good. The jalapeno and garlic pepper is bomb on seasoning. I mean, on, on pizza, it's really good. The air fryer is good for roasted veggies. I got an air fryer. Christmas haven't used it yet. I just be forgetting about it. Because it's all because it's over here in the corner. So I, I just be forgetting about it. Because I'm so I spend so much time in the other part of the kitchen. I got this bomb wing recipe for the air fryer. Man, send it to me, please. I am open. If you if you down, if you down to share, please send it to me, Lex. Like DM it to me. I would love to try it. Cause like I really want to perfect the air fryer. I'm just not there yet. And I'm I'm honest with myself. It ain't it. Some stuff that came out of there, and I'm like, Rhonda, what? What what what? What's up? Gotta gotta get that garlic, jalapeno garlic, garlic pepper. Oh, thank you, Lexa. I appreciate the support. I will get your order out to you tomorrow. Anybody placing orders today, your orders will go out tomorrow. Just stop in and say, hey, what's up, Barbara? How you doing? Happy Sunday to you. Happy Sunday to you. Enjoy the rest of it. I'm, I'm excited. My, my friend just texted me, uh, you know, bring some swim clothes. We might get in the pool. Whether we do or we don't, I'm excited about getting out the house, y'all, honestly. Excited about getting out the house, seeing my friends, going for a drive. I'm excited about all that.
So yeah, I think this week, I think this week I'm making some stuffed bell peppers. But I'm gonna do some stuffed bell peppers with um, they're gonna be meatless. They're gonna have soy riso in them, probably mushrooms. It'll almost be like a spaghetti stuffed mushroom, kind of. Kind of. So it's gonna have some cauliflower rice in it, probably mushrooms, soy riso. It's probably some, I don't know, maybe some herbs and stuff in it too. But we're gonna stuff it in a red bell pepper, put them in the oven with cheese and all of that. So I'm gonna do like almost like a spaghetti kind of stuffed bell pepper, but it's meatless. Um, the soy riso is, um, it's meatless. So, and I try not to eat a whole lot of processed meat, even if it's like, you know, the, the vegan kind, but the soy riso has such a specific taste to it that it's so good, um, in this recipe. So I probably will make that this week and, and release it as a video. Um, so anybody want to see that you want to see how to stuff a bell pepper, give you some different ideas for stuffed bell peppers. I will more than likely be dropping that this week. Uh, my seasoning is $12.99. $12.99 and the shipping is $6.99. And there's the Cajun lemon pepper and there's the jalapeno garlic pepper as well. So just two for now. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do next um, because I don't know, y'all. I really want to do some other stuff. Um... I really want to make my own custom blends, honestly, like myself, and I'll be able to get them out a lot quicker. Um, so we'll see. I got to figure out what my next what my next option is going to be because I got a lot of ideas. I have a lot of like blend ideas that I want to do. And it's like really hard waiting for a company to get those things done. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Charlie, what's going on? How you doing? Thank you, Charlie. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. So I got to figure out my next move with my seasonings. I'm not sure what's going to happen. Sounds like I'm down in my season since my daughter took one. I'm making her, her buy at this time. That's It's so funny. So, for seven, so many people have said that their kids have got them for the seasoning. Like, they're like, I, even for this, this restock, they're like, I bought some seasoning and I had to hide it from my kids. What's up, Chartiz? What's going on? How you doing? Hey, Eric. I'm doing good, Charlie. I'm doing really good. Call me when you get off the live. Okay, I'll give you a call, Mari. I'll call you as soon as I'm done. I'll be off so shortly. Because I'm going to leave my house in by two. I'll be gone by two. Rhonda, I just bought one of each seasonings. Uh, thank you, Miriam. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Your order will be definitely in the mail tomorrow. Um, I just got some cinnamon rolls in the air fryer. Foil the bottom and lay foil on the top at 400 for eight minutes. Turn them over and lay the foil on top for eight more minutes. Took them out. Iced them. Bomb. That sound good. I'll be hot. You making you making some different sauces. Shantae needs to hide my seasonings. And you know when you got the good, and it's so easy to go through seasonings. It really is. What's up, Breezy Bree? What's going on? How you doing? Happy uh Sunday to you. What y'all got planned for the week? Anybody got any um anything they're trying to set out to do, trying to accomplish this week? My goal this week is to get my butt to the gym. I made it to the I made I worked out three times last week, y'all. My goal is to work out three times this week. So three times this week as well. I'm doing my hair this week too. I'm gonna do my hair this week. I'm gonna work out three times. And that's it. That's my goal for the week. That's gonna have to be enough. <laughs> that's what I'm doing. What's up, Oli? What's going on? How you doing? I'd want to order if it's not too hot. Um, Alicia, honestly, both of them aren't hot. Um, I know the jalapeno could probably be a little intimidating, but it's not really hot. I would say the Cajun on a scale of one to ten in terms of spice, to me, is like a one or two. The jalapeno, maybe a three. It's not really hot at all. It's not really hot at all. Thank you, Keisha. Thank you, thank you. I put the jalapeno garlic pepper on my corn and it's so bomb. I love it on popcorn. I love, y'all, I love that damn jalapeno on avocado toast. That's all I put on there too. You taste it so good. I really love putting the Cajun. I love putting the Cajun on chicken. I love putting it on wings. I'll add it to chili. Um, it's just a good season to, I really, it just brings the flavors together for something. If you're making like something really big and hearty, like a chili, I actually use both in chili. It's still cold and rainy here, so no plans. Uh, I missed the brunch. I got to watch it back. Yeah, only it's, it's like the first 20 minutes is what I cooked. It was really quick. And I have most of the stuff already cut up, but a very quick um, hash is what I made. Do I have my phone right over here? No. I was going to show you what I made. Only if you, if you happen to see um, what I posted in my story yesterday, I posted the hash uh, in my story. So that's what I made. My favorite is the Cajun lemon pepper. Gee, that's my favorite. I heard that. I love the Cajun. I love the Cajun too. 
I don't know. I'm just glad. I don't know. It's crazy sometimes. Like when I go on the cabinet, I can't believe I have my own season. It kind of blows my mind every time. I've been looking at your videos and I decided to start my own website like YouTube. I'm tired of being lazy. I feel you. I feel you, right? Sharti, so, so far, is it making you feel like accountable and stuff? You know, with starting it and having to maintain it? Is occasionally seasoning for someone that has seafood allergies? My mom's allergic, just wants to make sure. Oh, yeah, it, it's good for it's good for vegan. If you have any allergies or anything like that, you'll be fine. It doesn't have any, like, seafood elements in it. There's no seafood elements in, in it at all. Um, yeah. And it's really good for sauces, too. If you want to make sauces using like the flavor to um, season your sauces, it's really good for that too. I just got your cajun lemon pepper seasoning. I can't wait to try them. Thank you, Crystal. Thank you so much, you guys. I appreciate the support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I'm so happy to be free stocked. I'm so glad that you guys are just patient with me. It took literally, literally exactly 90 days to get restocked, y'all. 90 freaking days. It's like anything that could go wrong went wrong. A natural, a natural disaster happened. Just some behind the scenes business stuff happened. Um, just everything was going off track. What's up, Larissa? What's going on? How you doing? Would you like to go out? But my allergies are kicking. Would oh, you would like to go out, but your allergies kicking your butt. I feel you, Ty. That's what everybody's saying, like the pollen and stuff, the pollen and the allergies and everything. Yeah, I want you guys to post there too when I'm finished. Okay, I did see that. I think it's my favorite because I love lemon pepper wings. So yeah, it's my favorite. Got you. I'm having a really good day. Do you have a discount code at this time? At this time, it's not, it's not a discount code. I don't have one. That's not to say that one won't come. But at this time, I don't have one. I did have one in the beginning. And that was something that I offered to the members. You know, I really try to make it a point to offer the members um, certain things because they're members, you know. So that's really that's the only uh, discount I've had so far this time around. I'm doing really good. I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. Let's see. It's 118. All right, y'all. I'm about to get ready to wrap up. It's probably one of the shortest lives I've ever had. Probably one of the shortest lives I've ever had. I just wanted to jump on and cook. Show that you guys real quick. And it's a good side for, you know, it's good for brunch, good for breakfast. Um, good at night. You know, just a good, good light meal. I mean, like a good side. You know what I mean? If you want to add anything to it. Um, so again, if you missed the, the live, go back and watch the first 20 minutes. You'll be able to see what I made. We had some sweet potato hash. It was super quick and easy. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I got a chance to cook with y'all. I got a chance to eat. Did all of that in less than an hour. Boom. Uh, hey, Alicia. Um, there's a website at the very top. It's pinned. If you don't see it, let me drop the, the website real quick. Uh, yeah. Uh, there's a website there. Um, there is um, Boss Lady. I will always Boss Lady. Love will always post my positive point. Can't wait for my seasoning. Thank you, Judy. I can't wait to get them to you. I cannot wait to get them out to you. What's up, Jamila? What's going on? Happy Sunday to you. Happy Sunday to you. Um, yeah, I can't wait to get it out. So anybody placing orders today? Even if you place your orders tomorrow. Um, any orders that I get in by like 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time will go out tomorrow. So I'll get that out to you guys. Is the Spikes Original Seasoning high in sodium? Let me tell you what it is real quick. Let me grab it and I'll let you know. I don't think it is. I know the flavor is amazing on it. I know that. The flavor is good. So let me just show a picture of what we made really quick. So if anybody wants to go back and watch it, do you want to feel like it's worth it or not? I'm going to show you what we made. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. I guess technically it would be considered anything over 140 milligrams is considered high in sodium. This was 160 milligrams, but it's good though. And that's for a fourth of a tablespoon. So this is mom now. But yeah, this is 160, 160 milligrams, which I think is still better than using just straight salt. You know what I mean? It has other components and other flavors in it. Um, what's in it? In here. All the ingredients. Um, this has like orange and lemon peel in it. It has garlic, it has horseradish, mustard flour, it has bell peppers in it. So it has a lot of different flavors inside of it. Yes. So uh oh. Hold on, y'all. Hello. Oh. What's up, Sasha? Hey, baby. 
Hey, hey, hey. Good. Yes, baby. You on a break right now? Oh, okay. Give me one second. Hold on, okay? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Please hold this one second. Please, please, please. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, y'all. So I'm about to, I'm about to get ready to, I was wrapping up the, babe, babe, I was wrapping the live up anyway when you called. I was, because I still got, I'm going to Courtney House, remember? So get, hold on, just hold on one second, please. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll hang up. Um, all right, y'all. So I'm about to get ready to get up out of here. Um, no, babe, don't hang up. Don't hang up. All right, I'm about to get up out of here, you guys. If you missed the live, please go back and watch the beginning of it. Like the first 20, 25 minutes is the um is the recipe. It's quick, easy, and that's it, y'all. So thank you guys for coming through. Thank you guys for also placing your orders. And also to you guys, I'm doing my play. Um, my first play, I wrote it. It is being performed next Friday. So we're not having a family night next Friday. Um, so when you guys, if you want to come out and check that out, go to the community tab here on YouTube and you can sign up for free. All right. <laughs> All right, you guys. I'll tell you, you guys said hi too. I appreciate you. Thank you guys for coming through and hanging out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love you guys. Have a good Sunday. Have a great week. Uh, a great week too. All right, y'all. Bye. She hung up. Cause I know she like, babe, just call me back. Just call me back. But I was really, I was really, I, I was getting off anyway, y'all. I had to go get dressed. All right, you guys. Bye. I love you. Have a good one. Have a good Sunday, you guys. You guys be safe. Have a great week. Have a productive week. Have a peaceful week. Take your time this week. Get some rest. Start something new. Chill. Do whatever you need to do for yourself this week, basically. You know, and I know sometimes it's hard to do that, but take it one week at a time. This week is a great week to do something for yourself and make that, a, you know, be able to make that a habit. All right, you guys. Bye, y'all.